Our trails and pathways are a shared resource, places where everyone should be able to enjoy nature. To minimize impacts to these areas and our fellow visitors, let's learn the ins and outs of sharing the trail. It's important to stick to the trail as much as possible to avoid damaging vegetation or creating erosion. This means hiking single file to avoid widening the trail and allowing space for others. However, some interactions may require us to step off trail and we should do so in a way that still minimizes impacts. Yielding occurs when we are traveling in opposite directions on the same trail and need to determine who goes first. The yield triangle can be a helpful tool in determining when to yield. Stock users have the right of way and both hikers and bikers should yield to them. This keeps all users and animals safe and eliminates the needs for animals to step off the trail, which can create significant impacts. Because mountain bikers have a mechanical advantage and travel quickly, they yield to all other groups. For hikers, it is widely accepted that downhill hikers yield to uphill hikers, as uphill hikers need to keep their momentum and have a smaller field of vision. When yielding, look for a durable surface to step off the trail and allow the group to go by. Durable surfaces include patches of bare dirt, rocks or gravel, leaf litter, or even pine duff. Avoid fragile vegetation or rocks with lichen and moss growing on them. When we are traveling the same direction as other users at a different pace, we may need to pass. If behind a group, ask them if and when it's okay to pass. Hey, is it okay if I pass? Wait until the group is off the trail and be sure to say thank you. Thank you. These trail etiquette interactions should all be handled with in the moment communication. The important part is keeping others safe and minimizing vegetation impacts from off trail travel. Where pets are involved, keeping them on leash will allow for safer yielding and passing. The coronavirus presents a unique and additional challenge when sharing our trails and pathways. To keep ourselves and other visitors safe, Maintain social distancing by utilizing the same techniques you would when yielding or passing. Communicate with other visitors and be sure to say thank you to those that go the extra mile in being considerate. Our trails don't belong to any one person or group. They belong to all of us. By being kind and considerate to other visitors, we can share these special places in a way that keeps us all safe and protects the trails we love.